I'm going to add the handle at the very end. Okay. So now I'm going to move on to that green object. And it's going to be a little bit more difficult. So what I want to do is I'm going to go down to my box and I'm going to split it in half. I'm going to draw a plumb line right down the center. And you'll see why in a second. Okay. Make sure these lines are straight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start drawing one side first, okay? So I'm kind of eyeballing and seeing that this curve right here, the first curve, there's a line that goes across the candle holder about approximately halfway down. So I'm going to look on this too and I'm going to say, all right, about approximately halfway down, there's going to be that line. So let's draw that line now. And then this part goes straight down, curves in, and I'm going to use my pencil again to see how far in that curve goes. Mm. It's about a third of the way in. So I'm going to look at this. just have to go back with your eraser later. I'm also noticing that that bottom foot, if I were to draw a vertical line, it pretty much lines up with this part, right? So when I go down here, I know that that little foot is going to go all the way out to the same line that this is on. All right. So now that I've drawn one side of it, all I need to do is mimic it on the other side. This is more rounded down here. This is more rounded. Okay. So I don't know about you, but I can totally tell this is lopsided and not matching. So I'm going to draw more plumb lines this way to make sure these two spaces match. And the trick is to look at the negative shapes, right? Does this negative shape right here match that? Same with here. I can tell that this side has more, it's wider, the negative space here, than it is here. So I need to bring this side in. And then also, do these two parts match? So this is where you're going to bust out your eraser and start fixing stuff. Okay. I'm going to perfect that later, but now let's put in the very last part, which is the picture. So looking at the picture, I can see that this first uh, bump here is just below the top, maybe mm, a quarter of the way from the top of this to between this and this. So, down on my drawing, I'm going to draw a plumb line here to show me where that bump starts. And this is where you can eyeball a little bit. That's the bottom of that bump. Okay, so now I have to draw the shape of it. 
So if I were to draw an imaginary line straight up and down, this part of the picture does not go as far out as these two, this bump does. So if I can see that bump right there, it fits right in here in fact. That's that bump. Okay. And I just want to make sure that it doesn't go past this line. Yep, okay. Okay, and I actually can also look at this white negative space here. If your negative space is right, your positive space is right too. You can't have one without the other. Okay, does this negative shape look like that negative shape? It's close. Okay, something like that. And then down here, there's a tiny little line, a little white space. All right, and then here's the bottom of that picture. Okay, let's draw the other side. Okay, so that's the main part of the picture. Now it's just a matter of adding those handles. Mm, let's see, the inside of, the inside of the handle sits right on top of that little bump. So I'll draw that first. So here's the inside of the handle, and then the outside. The outside lines up with the bottom of that bump. All right, now we gotta do the teacup. That handle, the top of it, is just a little bit lower than the very top of it. And I'm seeing that the inside of that handle comes up to about here on that cup. So let's draw that, sketch it in. Here's the top. Okay, and then from here, it's just a matter of perfecting everything, okay? So here's what I have. There's my drawing. Ooh, there's the still life. Pretty close.